I'm by no means the first person to ever do a 24 hour reading challenge. And I've seen, you know, a lot of different ways that a lot of different people do them. Sometimes you like start a timer and stop a timer. Sometimes it's like 12 hours one day, 12 hours the next day. I'm currently on a solo vacation slash retreat, kind of in a tiny house in the woods. And I wanted to do it, of course, the most extreme way that I possibly could, which would be to read for 24 hours, like see how many books I can read within a 24 hour period. And I was trying to think of like what time I could start that would mess with my sleep schedule the least that I could recover from easily. My current plan is to wake up at 2 a.m. and read until 2 a.m. And listen, I've never done one of these readathons before, so I don't know how many books I can actually read. I, I'm guessing four. But also I've never read for that much time in a row, so I don't know how like I'm gonna slow down or speed up or how that's gonna go. It also depends on the book because I've had weekends where I've read five books, but they're like really quick YA fantasies that are 250 pages, right? I brought like 15 books. There's no way I'm going to read that many, um, but I wanted to have options. So again, again by E. Lockhart. I have started reading this book and it was the most confusing thing I've ever read and I didn't like it at all, but it's really short. <laughs> I'm gonna try to revisit it with an open mind. Um, I'm on book two of Air Awakens. This is all of them. Our Missing Hearts, which I believe is a dystopian. I picked it because, I picked all of these really because they're relatively moderate length and I was interested in the premise and I recently bought them. And the words are kind of big. <laughs> so, the very secret society of irregular witches, um, which is kind of like your witch rom-com, you know. Dollar Store Book, Pretty Baby, which is a suspense thriller. I also have Behind Closed Doors. I think I would only read this in the middle of the bright shiny day because I'm a little afraid. The first book of Mistborn, which is not short. I also have the other two books, just in case I feel like reading three 500 page fantasy novels. 600, Brandon. So probably won't be reading this. Good morning. It's 1.57 a.m. Um, most people are probably still awake right now. If they're seeing my light on, they're like, oh, she's just a party animal. Got about three hours of sleep. Now preparing to stay up for 24 hours. Will I make it? I'm gonna set a time for 25 minutes. I'm gonna start with the witch rom-com. If by 25 minutes in things, I'm just, it's slow, I'm too tired. I'm gonna go into a thriller or that dystopian one. But yeah, we're gonna try for the rom-com. Hello, it's just after four, so I thought I'd check in with you all. I'm about 160 pages into this book. It's so lovely and cute. I'm just such a sucker for like rom-com, but there's like children. And so like one or both of the people is like protective of the children and they're all forming this found family together. And like, I think it's also very early, so I'm getting a little emotional. And it has just the right amount of little peril, little stakes. I'm hoping to finish this by five. I don't know why I'm coming up with so many goals because I'm gonna finish it when I finish it. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it is 5.32 and I finished the first book, A Very Secret Society of Regular Witches. Very cute. I can't decide if the ending was underwhelming or if I'm just really tired. <laughs> it was like a cute ending. It was good. There was a good twist. It was well structured. It hit all the emotional beats. Um, it wasn't anything like groundbreaking, but I think that's kind of the nature of cozy fantasy. Um, it's actually my first cozy fantasy that I've actually finished and enjoyed. So that's exciting. I wanted a little more of the girls because she's going to take care of these three little witches. First two thirds had a lot of them. And then it really turned more heavy into the romance, which I guess makes sense. I just wanted more of them. I wanted more of that dynamic of the family. I don't know, it's 5 a.m. I'm getting really critical. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to read next. 
Um, because I don't want to do Thrill yet because the sun is not even risen. It took me two and a half, three and a half, two to three, three to four, four to five, five and a half, yeah. Two and a half, no, three, three and a half hours to finish. It was about 300 pages. I don't know if I'm going to be able to consistently read at that rate though. I think my next book, I'm debating between Behind Closed Doors and... Are missing hearts. I don't know. I'm a little scared to read behind closed doors because the there's a blurb on the back that says brace yourself and I'm like alone in this cabin. It's still a little too dark and creaky for a thriller so I think I'll go with the dystopian but sometimes dystopians especially given the vibe that I got from the first 10 pages can get a little like real life thrillery. that when most people do these they just read for a total of 24 hours like they like read before work and then read after work should I just do that no I've committed now it's four it's five in the morning I'm also in a sweatshirt now so I think it's like 6 30 what I didn't realize is that this book is specifically about like censorship and racism. It's a book that really makes you think about the state of things. I think it's drawing a lot of comparison to our current society. Um, but it's six in the morning. This is a little early for me to be processing all of this information. No, it's really, it's a really good book. Um, and it's told from the perspective of this like 12 year old boy. I'm going from a witch rom-com to like government censorship of media. So it's a great day. I think when the sun rises, I'll reevaluate. I don't know. Seems like a good time. Okay, the sun has risen. I'm gonna count that as risen, okay? Because I need like a mental break. Things are heavy. I'm gonna eat some. Is it breakfast if I've been awake for seven hours? It's starting to hit me a little bit, the reading fatigue. It's definitely one where you need to read every word. I mean, you could say that about every book, that you need to read every word. This is a book where you need to like think about every word and every sentence. There's just a lot happening with everything, which is really great and beautiful. So I might jump in now that the sun has risen and read behind closed doors really quick really quick as if it's not a 300 page thriller but i'm not gonna put pressure on myself to finish but i am first celsius of the day i only have two of these so oh no i'm literally one sentence into this and i'm gonna be so angry at this book the husband who i'm pretty sure is like a horrible 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 man is also like a prosecutor. Oh, he's the scum of the earth. I'm on page 10. Oh, oh, oh okay. My hands are already starting to shake. Can't decide if it's from the scumbag or the Celsius. The author really said trauma dump on page 25. Update, I'm on page 65 and I've never been more stressed. But I'm, oh, 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 oh. This book is, ooh, mmm, mmm, it's, mmm. It's there's some bad shiitake happening. This guy's a walking red flag. All the signs are there. I don't know how to consume energy drinks. So, yep. It's like nothing has happened, but I'm so stressed. And this man, I'm gonna be full of rage at the end of this book. I already know it. This man is the scum of the earth. He is the scum of the earth. And if I see him in the street, he better watch his mouth. Actually, you know what? It doesn't even matter if he watches his mouth because 
I didn't think I was gonna get so enraged. Maybe I should like actually update you. <laughs> it's only 9.40. I'm on page like 170 of this book. And I have a feeling they're gonna th fly by because I'm gonna be so enraged. I think the thing that fills me the most with rage is like domestic abuse situations where there's a lot of like economic and emotional and psychological abuse. Also the physical is very bad, obviously. But oh my gosh, women, all you women out there, know who you're marrying, okay? I am so stressed. So I finished this book, this little number, this little fantastic piece of literature. I've never been more enraged at fictional character. I think I think ever. And this is counting all of those like fantasy villains who like skin people. This guy is worse than those people. I was looking at when the book was published. It was like a 2016 release. And I can kind of tell, I don't know what that means, but I just like, I felt like it was 2016. There's interesting representation of someone with Down syndrome. And I was trying to look through Goodreads to see like how it was received. If there had been any sensitivity readers or anything like that. To my perception, the character wasn't perceived in a, like a super negative way. I'd just be interested to see how much research was done. It was very convenient to the plot. I've read another book by this author, um, The Prisoner, which actually felt very similar, wherein the last essentially third half of the book is, I don't wanna say wild goose chases, but like long serial, one task after another kind of things. Like it turned into that kind of a thriller at the end. Well done though, it was so dark. Yeah, a content warning for this one. A lot of off the page stuff, a lot of things that are implied and a few things that are executed um, in terms of just like abuse, a lot of emotional manipulation and gaslighting and narcissism and horrible men. I need like a break. <laughs> I'm gonna have another little snick and maybe watch an episode of Survivor. There's so much of the day still left. You guys, it hasn't even been 12 hours yet. Hello, it is the afternoon. Oh, it's noon. It's exactly the noon. Oh, I've definitely been up since 2 a.m. So I think I'm gonna try to hammer through our missing hearts again. Now that I'm a little more awake. <laughs> if it's getting too heavy, I'll switch over to this, which it, not this whole thing. I'm on book two, so it's it would be about this much of the book. But you guys, the font is so small. It's like, I wanted to read it more, but it like hurts my eyes, so. There's some books where the sentences are not the focus, the plot is the focus, and then there's other books where the, the formulation, the flow, the way it reads is the focus. Oh, okay, one thing I haven't mentioned when talking about this is like a central theme is children being taken away from their parents. I mean, her author's note was talking about how like this is like a huge thing that, that like governments do throughout history for power and control. It's a hard book to read. It just like makes you feel like crap and like the world is crap. If you really don't like to think about COVID and initial lockdown and like the ugly, ugly parts of humanity that came out during that time and the blaming of different cultures, this really hits all of that really, really hard. It's not specifically COVID but it just is like, it is though. It's written, I forgot, I've read this author before and it's it's almost feels like poetry. There's no dialogue tags. It's all written in third person, but it's switched like who it's following a few times. If anybody's in speech right now, like in high school speech, I mean, you have to be the right person to use this, but it's very much written in a way that would do really well in high school speech. So, and it also really focuses on the written word and like how like words and like 
speech and literature and books like are all so important in these types of movements even though even when things feel hopeless like those are things that can inspire people and change minds and hearts so give it a read i'm gonna definitely take another break right now um, my next one will probably be something YA fantasy light adventure romance because I just need something like that right now. I have been getting into the Air Awakens books. I was already in the second book, so I had the advantage of already kind of being in the series. And I'd say historically for me, the f times I finished books like fastest is um, quick wife romance fantasies. Anything by Adrienne Young, anything by Trisha Levenseller, like younger YA. I don't love it all the time, but like, ooh, she's quick. But I really got into flow with, with Air Awakens and I'm, about 50 pages from the end of book two. And I don't even really feel that tired. I might be eating my words in like an hour, but I think my plan is to just kind of keep reading Air Awakens. So maybe getting that third book done too would be great. For sure we'll hit four, which was my goal. Oh my gosh, I still have to stay up until two in the morning. I'm so tired. My eyes are like, they're like shaking, but not in a bad way. Maybe it's a bad way. Anyway, see ya. They're kissing. We all knew they were going to. This is book two. This is where smooches happen. The delirium is setting in. Ooh, little white smut. Also, I think this book series has my favorite meet cute of all time, which is he pushes her off of a tower. <laughs> It like makes sense in the context, but like he literally pushes her off of a building. Mmm, love, enemies to lovers. Rah. No, okay. If somebody pushes you off of a building, it's not a meet cute. Unless you're a prince, or maybe a commoner who has a secret power. Oh my gosh, you can look at this agony. I saw. It's cute. It's a cute angle. Up pages. Look how tiny these words are. Like, also now she's apparently like a royal consultant. Like, Bestie, you were a librarian two days ago. Like, let's take a breath. But I, I just, as a general rule for all those people out there, there's this conversation being had where one character has a reputation for being like a playboy or girl like they've got lovers in their bed day and night and then the other characters like how many people have you brought to the bedroom and then the other person's like none that matter and then the other person's like oh my gosh that's so sweet i don't think that's very sweet it sounds like this person is manipulating and messing with the feelings of all these other people which seems like kind of a red flag so that's just a little bit of relationship advice for me I know you were all looking for it. Do you guys just need to kiss all the time? Like I'm, we're we're at a war. We're we're at war. No, okay, we're all everything's fine. Everyone's still very close. <laughs> That's kind of nice. He slept on the couch. She had already fallen asleep, and he didn't want to like. Hey, this book better start being about war pretty soon. <sighs> I've been reading for so many hours. I don't need anyone sighing softly anywhere. We can just cut that. We can edit that out of the baby script. Thank you. My eyes are starting to like... Oh, this this uncle is up to some shit. I don't know what it is yet, but I bet. I would really uh, just appreciate there to be a kidnapping. I know that that maybe makes me bad, but I just see a good potential for one right now. And now there's this whole thing introduced where like her specific power is super rare. She's the only one who has it. Shocking. So like maybe they're gonna kidnap her for that. I just love a good reunion and I'm just, I've been reading all day, I deserve one. I didn't need to hear about your manly needs, Eldrick. I think you can leave those off the page. I didn't. 
Hey, you already said that you love each other. Do we need to keep saying it? Ooh, a nightmare. Yes. so long. Somebody better get kidnapped in this book or I'm gonna be annoyed. They just killed off my favorite character and they didn't even apologize. <sighs> I just wanted someone to get kidnapped. I didn't want this. Okay. I'm sorry. So I finished the book. Oh, she dreams his memories. Hi, she dreams his memories. Yep. I don't know why I keep looking away. Sorry, I'll talk to you. <laughs> no one's gotten kidnapped yet, but I'm holding out hope because there's five books and the odds are one of them's gonna be a kidnapping book. Like if you take any book series that goes past four books, they throw a kidnapping book in there just for fun. I'll probably finish or get close to the end of this one. Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Survivor. I feel like this hairstyle is like very survivor energy. Like they have those like bandos. They call them buffs. I thought I would just live a little. Uh you guys like, I'm a fast reader and I enjoy reading for long periods of time. But what I'm learning from this experience, this is the worst possible angle for an outro. What I'm learning from this experience is that, um, I'm worried about how this is gonna impact my sleep schedule going into the week. I think it'll be fine. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I also feel a little bit of reading burnout coming on. Not fully. I think it's good that I'm stopping this in the middle of a series that I'm like motivated to finish because then I won't like not read for a week. I, d I took a couple of breaks, but like some of those books need to have more breaks. And then like I think there are some books that are designed to be read in one sitting like behind closed doors. I was really glad I read in one sitting because it kept the tension throughout. It's also then I didn't have to like sit in the ickiness of it without like a solution and conclusion for too long. But I think a very, the, um, the first one I read, I think would have been a better experience had I read it like over the course of a week or over the course of two or three days in their space for a little bit because it's a book that spans multiple weeks you know or multiple months like they're there for a long time and when you read that within like a three hour sitting I don't feel as invested as the characters do or how I usually would had I spread it out a little more it's my first one of these though so rate me out of 10 I actually don't do that you can rank this frame that I'm using right now where I'm like literally not even looking at you half of the time. I'm just like staring ahead at this tree that I'm looking at. Not even you guys. Feel free to rank the frame because it's a zero. It's just like such a bad angle to do an outro on. I was just like, um, I think in the future I might do one where you like set the timer to do the, tw to get to the 24 hours. I'm really feeling it now. My eyes are burning. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching this with me. But if you are trying to get more books read in a month, I just read four and a half-ish, which I think this whole month I've only read four so far. It's been a slow month for reading. I'll see you in the next one.